beautiful. It says Thank live you. on my end. It is a wonderful. Yeah. Fabulous. Well. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so it's this magnificent, delicious this every time you and I come together from wherever <laughs> we are, Valerie, wherever we are. As we call in this eternal flame from this part of the great might um, into this now as we begin feeling it before we even start this, right? It's just this perfect 13th day mastery, huh? Oh, Anchoring. interesting. And this, this today, today, this Sophia Christ petal mm -hmm. of the rose that is dedicated to I am boundless like literally boundless so the frequencies are coming in and oh yeah so i'm so excited to just for us to have a little tea to just catch up and just <laughs> i love that you said yes because we haven't talked to each other for a while let's, i know let's it invite the friends thank you right, to our, of course we have our conversation you got your tea what you got my sister <laughs> i had it it's somewhere <laughs> I saw. I, I have a child in <laughs> in fifth grade who's at home. Oh, so <laughs> he's at home right now. That's of good. course, they're still home. I'm in Los Angeles, so yeah. they they're not back in school. So, and they're just holding space for him because oh yeah, you know, you know. So everybody, I do know. I know <laughs> you never know. never moved back in with us. It's been a two and a half months of. <sighs> So just navigating holding space for his emotions and he's very sensitive, yeah. our sensitive lion, Leo. So, so he's moving through a lot. And then there's so much coming in today as, as we were saying. Today is so much is coming. It's amazing. I, I, so let's yeah. just, before we really get into this, because this yeah. is what I love about you and I, we just, as two mothers, two galactic mothers with these star children and everything that they <sighs> are truly transmuting mm -hmm. that we get to be a witness and then we on top of it are transmuting it's it's yeah. just phenomenal yeah yeah i feel i feel like when the frequency starts to come in closer we get to notice the agitation like i always see the agitation starting to reach nevon's field like it's like mm. probably like about I don't know, about a mile before it hits his field. And then the yeah. agitation starts coming. And I can I can see what's happening to the mm -hmm. hits him because then, then he 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 projects it out because mm -hmm. he wants to bounce it back out to for it not to stay in his crystalline body. Yeah. And and for us, it's been such a journey to not be on the way when that comes out. Oh, I got hit today. I and lost it this morning. Yeah, <laughs> we, we do get smacked by that power. Oh, power yeah. is like a whole other level than ours, isn't it, sister? Oh, it's so true. And, you know, I, and, and one of the things I was telling my son, Jacob, I was like, you have to advocate for yourself. You know, yeah. he's not engaging. Yeah. And I think we're, we're, you know, it's like, okay, they're not going back to school, at least here in Los Angeles. He's not going back. They're not going to go back this year. So coming to that realization myself and then, you know, making sure that he's understanding this is your experience and you get to say what, how you really feel. Yes. So really pushing him to advocate and express himself yes. to everyone in his you know, universe. Right. So he's not covering up. Oh, everything's great. That's it's right. not. It's no, not it's great. Not. <laughs> it's, <laughs> and, <laughs> and it's so important. And we, as the custodian of these mm -hmm. star lights, to to help them to navigate it and then ground the frequency. Yeah. And also, I feel this is that beautiful. We have had so much. This is Nevon's like senior year. We don't care. We've been, we've been, all the Fs he's got. I'm like, listen, those are fabulous. They're not Fs. There's no, these are for fabulous. fabulous, you know? No <laughs> yeah. I was like, listen, you, I am in some way, I'm so grateful you're not being programmed because you've known this for so long. You, you, yeah. you go to YouTube University, literally. Because, like, <laughs> I know. You know, he's, he's an ingenious, like you're just, just, 
Yeah, he what is this school going to do for him? Like nothing. Yeah. Uh, but making sure he recognizes what's taking place in school and this yeah. destruction with friendships, all of that is not being communicated that mm-hmm. something is wrong with him or yeah. his energy field or to learn to communicate, just communicate it better. And it doesn't take it into aggression because they're feeling so much. Yes. Better. Yes, exactly. And that's a great point. And that's the whole, you know, advocate for and understand that this, this break that is happening, that's been happening yeah. is about moving into the new paradigm, which so many of us have been working on for so long, right. you know, not fully knowing, well, how is this going to actually happen? Yeah. No, you know, right. And so like last year, of course, was the opening to be able to say, you know what, we need more choices. We need more options. These kids are the future and we need to listen to them and what do they want and how do they want this structured? So this is that advocacy. And, you know, I I told him today, like, you have to say it, you know, because I see it. But at the end of the day, this new structure and new paradigm is something that you and your peers are going to develop. Exactly. exactly. Right? We're exactly. flipping here. Right. We need and to flip it. To heart it, like you and I carry that mother, the Sophia mother energy. So we are here. We are the container. We yeah. were heart, mama, Linus, Linus, <laughs> like rules, whatever we got to do for you. But you need to feel safe enough in this container empowered yeah. enough and also to know it is completely okay for you to express the range of energies emotion mm-hmm. because you are like especially we have sons so as these different species of sons like the real sons like yeah son of our solar system you need to radiate the truth. So you can't like allow this to be as a blockage in you because it dims your light. And you have to have this space in which their wild visions can be expressed. Like it's, Mm -hmm. and and if they feel safe, they will really share how, how they see the connections, what they see, especially with their, I mean, we have tons of this conversation here. Like, okay, what are some of the things, like how you want to do it differently? What would you do? Yeah. And, and we have to have that. It, it's given the opportunity also for us as the parents to have that space so we're not mm-hmm. so far, but we can actually have the conversations. Yeah. Yeah, totally agree. And, and you know, I think for for the kids um, to, to know it's it's – that you have a voice that that everything is up for a completely different understanding right now (laughs) everything that we've known and the structure that really has been operating for many years you know this is an industrial revolution Mm -hmm. operation that we're moving out of because we really haven't caught up in some ways with what's happening and also the structure of what wants to come through And, you know, as feminine keepers, many of us have been holding the space, but I really feel, and and it it really hit this morning, it is time for action and the feminine is in movement, in motion. And this is right. This is like, we are being called into leadership and it's in the physical with, with movement and it, this energy really moves through me and you know, I put out a lot of feelers on, we need to make something different here. This isn't working, you know, for him and And me, right? Like, and I feel what, what, what is so key about what you're saying, it is the feminine within this, this, and also within the, it's within whatever gender it is, but really that, that energy to come to ground it because a lot of time it stays within the etheric field. And that's, yep. So we're talking about these treasures, the triggers that came up for both you and I. We haven't even talked about it. It's just like, yeah, they're treasures. Let me <laughs> I was like, I'm triggered. <laughs> but 
but they're they're <laughs> fantastic. But what it is like for me is like I am so crystal clear on the the BSs, the belief systems that I, I love have. that post. I yeah, saw that. Love that. Like I have I have met these belief systems, these BSs. Like I I no longer have patience for that. So if I faced it, I'm yeah. not. I don't have the energy and patience for another, you know, yeah. another because because it blocks this frequency that wants to be anchored that mm -hmm. has to be in embodiment and action. Yes. And it has to, it cannot just remain anymore. What brings agitation to us because it keeps remaining within the field and it's circulating, it needs to ground and we can yes. fully ground it. Mm -hmm. And and I found that we like Michael and I got into this thing this morning. I was like, listen, I, I today being boundless, I, I <laughs> am boundless and I have, I cannot um, embrace when the frequency is not being allowed to be anchored because yeah. then you can, you can feel the disharmony of the disempowerment Mm -hmm. which then brings this information and then this ease like i like i you can we can see clearly through it and we know mm -hmm. we know this frequency pool has to put it together for all of us as the container so they they become the living geometric frequency mm -hmm. where everything else is ready to be built on by these children so yeah. i can i feel the I feel the celebration and the frustration simultaneously yes. today. Yeah, that's, I that's simultaneously today. <laughs> yeah, totally. That's that's perfect. And you know, this the, the mass party inside the ring, crazy <laughs> ring party. Like, I don't even know what to do with it. I know. I had so much energy. <laughs> Just you know, I, I but I did channel it because what I'm feeling also is there is a lack of you know everyone's been going with the flow, especially right. here. It's like. No, <laughs> the flow is not, you know, <laughs> what this one statement keeps coming up, which is, you know, it's an old one. You can't create a new system from the old energy. It doesn't work. And so, but I do want to mention the masculine energy has been yes. really powerful. Yes. And I can feel that the divine masculine really stepping in. Yes. So I know that that's also for the holding the space with the feminine with because that's the protection there is that deep sense you know of truly honoring the feminine the, the mother the goddess right. it is i feel like the men are there and they, know, it's wanna, the, they need to have the permission and you know regardless it's the plume of ah, the, interesting the i was gonna i was gonna say they need the the push <laughs> you need permission. Like permission. It's, see, it's the permission. So there's this, which is, nice, right? is the plume of the blue flame, the plume of the pink flame, the plume of the yellow flame. So, mm -hmm. but all of this, the will, the wisdom, and the love must become unified. Yes. And that's yeah. exactly we're at the cusp of that unification mm -hmm. completely with, the, with Alpha and Omega that brings this mm -hmm. power. Like, so it is, it, we're exactly that. And so I feel the, this sort of call of the masculine is, it wants the permission, but it needs to be reminded that it already has its own. It doesn't need it from us anymore. It's just, it's, it's innate within that can step into it. You know what I mean? So it's it's a matter of like I feel like like when I have language. Aspects, you know, when we, we're aligning so everything <laughs> aligned before it becomes a complete conduit. Mm -hmm. That's now they are they are being there's a permission and also that push. Listen, you got this. Don't fucking be scared. Jump. Like jump. Yeah, well, that was the push. I had my foot out because that's what I felt. <laughs> and and you know, it's the sacred, the the um the sacred warrior, right? That warrior archetype, mm -hmm. and it's in both. It, yeah. I feel like all of us were ready. You know, I'm feeling that's that lion. That's that 
feminine just power and it really hit me this morning you know so it is that like protection of of my child and what's happening you know in the grand scheme of this is not okay what 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 is i get it everyone's trying to pull you know figure it out but we've we're at that precipice in my opinion right now that there has to be better solutions more flexibility you know and I know that that masculine piece of wanting to protect, you know, there is that balance between yes. stepping up and standing in for what's right. And also there is uh, that leadership piece for the paradigm of we are, we are really ushering this in. And for the feminine who have been holding that space, you know, to step in and with you know, I've seen, okay, the masculine, the, the, the truly um, balanced ones that aren't afraid to step up and say, no, this isn't working Correct. for the women, for the children. Right. You know, that for me is, you know, in a sense happening. Yes. And I think there is a permission that's, that has been given, given right? Because there's only, <laughs> this is the time of the visionaries. The visionaries have been holding space right? Going through different processes, releasing from the grand scheme or the grand collective. And okay, this is language, but I'm going to speak it in English because I don't, I don't want to do language for some reason. But <laughs> you know what's coming to me? Yeah, because it's sitting right here <laughs> in my solar plexus and the heart, which has also been where a lot of the fusion has been of, of merging heart with purpose, right? Because as we've transcended the ego into a really clear vision yes. that we collectively share, and I feel like it's just sitting here. <laughs> you know what's um, coming to me as you're yeah. saying this, my beloved sister, is that we as the living containers, literally yeah. the living containers, so th this really came strongly when we did the New Year's Eve ceremony. We, we had our event here with mm -hmm. four and a half hours, six part ceremony. Wow. Through, with the 12 participants to go through such depth till we can actually then activate the transmission of the Sophia Christ 12 mm -hmm. dimensional 144 petal of the fully blossomed rose bringing in the golden golden pink frame and what that was as the living container there's also this that container has been said we don't need to create it mm -hmm. already, yep. but it is what i saw within myself today valerie i was like yes there's this bountifulness it's already here i've been carrying this container and now this was directly I am giving myself permission to step back, mm -hmm. to yes. step back so you can dive right in. Because, yeah. <laughs> because, because I was aware of behind it some of the um, frustration that had some come up because it's like there's this space of so many so many just waiting why you're waiting for what time is now why wait because <laughs> this is the exact time to put it into action so it's yeah. like you look at everybody's like waiting well what's when is somebody's gonna start what and and that's the part that this morning i'm like it's now and, <laughs> and you, you know, even last night's global meditation we had so you know we started the new series valerie that ties yeah. into this where when we gather as the vision holders, we see into one of the solutions and we hold mm. that vision. We breathe into it and we anchor it. So like last night's focus was on, um, on all organic, sustainable farm everywhere, with mm -hmm. the produce everywhere. But what was so interesting was in all of us that were taking part, we were holding this vision for 12 minutes and breathing into it, birthing it, birthing it, birthing it all through earth. Valerie, it was incredible to see all of us saw the children are part of this. 
whether yes. for example you know the all apartment complex they had all also food veggies within, yeah. the, within the complex where all the children were involved so all the children were all yeah. involved in every part whether school system anything there were also children involved in the grassroots of this mm -hmm. so you and i are communicating from that place that it is just time for action not yes. not, not this this waiting okay waiting <laughs> to see what's gonna happen politically this this was like, it like, oh I'm yeah <laughs> what's that <laughs> like, we're we're not <laughs> Well, and, and you know, you were saying, and that makes so much sense. And and I've seen this before, and I've talked about it. About you know, we're in different phases. So whatever you've been doing, people that are watching, you know, we're moving into a different role. Right. And so this comes whenever there's a shift. Many of us who've been holding the space are now moving into the That's next cool. iteration, right? Which is, which is. It, it is happening because it's just organically moving into different platforms as we know what's happening. Yes. You know, I was involved in the Mothership Alliance with Robin and some other projects to get those going, you know, and I have my own Correct. projects and things that I'm supposed to be doing. So there's movement and, and to be, to stay in a very, you know, unattached Correct. to what is, 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 the outcome, knowing that we get pulled in as part of a number of different projects. And so it's holding the space of, you know, who you are, what you're doing, and also be willing to move and, and surrender, which I wrote this morning, because I was really feeling it's that deeper surrender in order to stay there. And, you know, I definitely, um, this is a message also for the masculine because yes. what I have noticed is, you know, a lot of times to, to when they're in their heart and then they get pulled out into the mental field or into oh the God. collective yes. masculine that's not quite ready to step yes. up and say we're ready for something different, right? And we're right. willing to do whatever it needs to whatever needs to happen, Absolutely, sister. right? So I, I, I can see it. I feel there's such a closeness. And of course, this is something that so many of us have worked on, preparing the split between the duality, the masculine, feminine polarities. Yeah. So we're able to come and hold the holding, the unification, the unified field. This is what's taken so many years. Those of, you know, the people that say, well, this, we feel like we've been doing this since 2012, but ultimately, unless we can hold the frequency yes. on a consistent basis, we will not see that new reality ground here on earth, on this plane. Absolutely. So, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> and I think for those of us who've done the grid work for yes. we've, been, we've been restructuring the grid to first as the foundation, mm -hmm. the foundation in the unification of the yes. living, living codes. So the mm -hmm. living codes become the foundation where it can then be built on so that this the, the consciousness that is more from the eternal essence, from the purified field of consciousness that is being brought in through let's say these holy Christ the templates for especially the children they can build it with ease with peace with flow yes without, without distortion disruption or mm -hmm. without the disruption the distortion mm -hmm. or disruption yeah so that they can truly deliver their work so it's just it's such a critical time right now mm -hmm. and and i find it also with you that we have been positioned exactly where we are and collaboration with others so that we can sort of like weave not sort of like literally weave the patterns of the codex says mm -hmm. yes the whole gaia and and these different various different grid systems, like the, um, the seven different grid systems so that each part is being layered mm -hmm. so that the, this crystalline light can easily allow this plasma to radiate, which mm -hmm. on the surface level, all this 
is being dismantled, like moving out because it has to finally. So then these ones, like our children can, and it's really their children that's, <laughs> you know, uh, but our children coming out. <laughs> so it's beautiful. It's amazing. It's exciting. There's a bit of a frustration and I'm catching that a lot. I'm catching the part where I feel frustrated. Like even yeah. today, but I also give myself permission to express it without at all holding it back and also giving permission. Like for example, to my son, when I am able to express and I'm able to be raw and real and yeah. I'm giving him permission to express, doesn't matter to express so it's very clear out of him, but learning how to direct it, not, not mm -hmm. direct it like at me coming at darts, but yeah, <laughs> because you know, when they come, it's, it hurts, <laughs> but, um, to, to them, <laughs> them take a deep breath on that. Us <laughs> grounding, yeah. I said, us really grounding it and teaching them how to ground it. You know what I've been yes. doing? My son since he's been living here. So every morning when Michael and I do our prayer, so I, I go light his candle in his room. So I remind him, I'm like, okay, Nevon, before you get on your thing, <laughs> call in the light for you. Is, is that Jacob? Okay, yes. He wants to go to the Xbox. So no, not yet, honey. <laughs> <laughs> no, not yet, honey. I said, when I'm, I'm off, you can. Okay. Yeah. Not yet, darling. <laughs> if you Stay so. Yeah. Oh, I know. They'll take advantage that I'm on the phone. So oh, no, no, I know that. <laughs> right. <laughs> so listen, you want to give, he's probably super hot. decided he finished being a pro. I know. Okay. So I told, I told Jake about that because no, I said. He decided not to be a pro anymore. Yeah. I, I told him, I said, you know, you might feel that way now, but it's, it can change. And, you know, so this is that you want to have all the opportunities and really learn everything you can as early everything. as possible. Yeah, I'm like, take it all, absorb it all, because you might choose that, but then you might change at some point, right? Yeah. So, so you just went through, like, yeah. right now I'm putting all his, like, professional equipment, like, for sale. I know. It's kind of like... Here, no attach, nothing. This is so it's fun. beautiful. It's, it's great. Beautiful. Well, don't you think that that's what this is about also? I mean, we're teaching. The kids are really learning what we probably didn't have growing up, which is, you know, non-attachment, right? Mm -hmm. And and release expectation of how something is supposed to look or be because, you know, we have been holding space, like you said, for the kids. And I say this to him, I'm doing this, I'm building infrastructure for you yeah. and the rest of your group to step in and run it. Right. Like, you know, and, and I know there's frustration for them because yeah. they're still in this archaic system, which is oh, why totally. it's having to um, go through all these different iterations. But and they're really also pulling, they're also they're pulling it. Yeah. They're, they're also like looping around this archaic system because I'm watching. Them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> brilliant with what we're doing and bring it up to it's amazing it's amazing to watch it. well because ultimately what works for us what works for the parents what works for all of us and I, and this is what we've had uh you know what nine months from last year to look at what works what doesn't work how can we get creative because the whole system is shifting yes. out of what we've been running. So for me, it's like, oh, sure, we're going to start implementing and all these, we're testing, we're testing a lot of the, the higher level theories or the, you know, the higher frequencies, right, into, and, and this is where the bridging comes in. Many of you that are bridgers, I am one, Hani is one, we've been holding these different, uh, you know, bridging and holding the frequencies because you as you bring it in and translate it, then it has to be integrated, integrated Absolutely. and implemented. And that's where we're at now is we're implementing at the collective level, not just at this higher frequency level, but it's the physical groundedness, like you're saying. And that is a very different level of action. 
and also reaction, right? To see how this is going to work. Well, it's, it's an, it's an action in embodiment of yeah. the alignment because mm-hmm. the action is being implemented from a consciousness that wasn't there before. And, yes. and the kids are also inspiring us to, mm-hmm. for us to dare to live the truth at a whole different level that we had not. Yes. And even at another level. And then from there, then dare to bring the new ways together mm-hmm. and, and within this commune, communion ways. Yeah. To, because we, we've also come to recognize you and I alone can't do it. We've learned it is a group effort. And, yes. You know, everybody has to be also, all of us are living leaders so it's not like just me i cannot be just the one leading it no we are all the living leaders mm-hmm. we are individual leaders because that book of revelation has opened up in us it we are the living conscious revelations yes that, that the the, the truth <laughs> has opened here we go now let's i just read it. i just wrote this wait did you read my no, did you read that, my post? No, I didn't. <laughs> I mean, we did I just, the treasures today, you know? An hour ago, I just wrote this. I'm feeling a big purging energy today, bringing us back to center, mm. back to soul family, back to the tribe, back to the communal, mm. led by the mother, the feminine center, back to the heart, back to humanity and love and care for one another. Yep. Totally. Be- I mean, it's... Right? And... <laughs> this is venus the this is the is- feminine venus um right because right? a lot of us hold the venusian this venus uh and that is for me the divine mother and so as over light right we have been holding those spaces the sophia christ is yes the living yep. mother it is the venus and it yes and, and, and to do it in the most beautiful way <laughs> it has to be harmonized because we know Harmonize. It has to be living, breathing. Yes, living, living breathing. In beauty. Yes. Because it can't, it can't <laughs> be anchored in like the way it was with, with, without, without mm, carried out from the yes. depth of that love of Almighty's beauty. It cannot, it, can, it just cannot yes. be. So there's that outstretching. And I feel that's why there's been this like you said, purging, purification, because yeah. we're getting rid of so much more stuff, de- detoxing energy fields, detoxing yep. the house, whatever, because more beauty, beauty has to come in. <laughs> to, because the holy, the holy temper, I wrote this yesterday, we are the living house of God. We are. It's Manna. already, we don't have to create it. That <laughs> God, God is the living presence. This template has had to go through so much of preparation so it can house the great I am presence that is shadowless, that is eternal, that is formless, that is infinite fully just finally coming in and that's what's happening it's already gotten to the holy christ itself or so, all oh, mankind it's there now some of us are that in the front line that it's like all right it's coming in putting that's what we've been experiencing all that gold and liquid light all right it's coming in gonna go coming in so you can be regrounding it and then yeah the gold <laughs> I just was coming in yesterday, the golden, I got that message. It was the golden, weaving the golden threads. That was the message totally. that came in yesterday, right? And like you said, there is no time. So it's, it's not about time, it's readiness. Yeah. That's why we keep, we'll, we'll come around, right, a cycle to see where everyone's at. And we have new frequencies, people have, you know, awakened. So these stages of awakening over the years have allowed the collective, 
you know, I am presence right. to maintain, like you're saying that, um, uh, the, the balance, you know, the harmony, because for me, that is the sovereignty. If we're able to hold that space, plus there's been, you know, as I mentioned, uh, one of my posts last week about the Adam Cadman, some of the original templates mm. for earth and also some of the distortions that many of us have been working on yeah. to repair. Yeah, um, look, look, look. Right. Shantai at Sanchamba, ne Samanu. We got two of them. Right? Oh my goodness! I don't, look, I want. I need one of those. <laughs> but, so you see the the pyramid, and it's I like, saw that. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing! That's yeah. Cool. But yeah, the the original was yes. So we come. Sanchamba la ito. Katano shai sa vesta varanda e sanchamba tai. Lamea <laughs> So seeing that living library, um, how important, and so many of you watching right now hold these, you know, these codes, these Christed codes. And, you know, my experience has been we've had to go into all the different cycles of awareness to see what distortions we're uh, were created and then what was built on top of them i think that's you know in the beginning i i didn't realize that you know it wasn't just the distorted templates we we're working with but what was then created from and what was running right because that's what timelines are timelines are groups of information that all come together that a certain amount of people will say oh this is true and they're just running, right, the program. You go back to what you said also, earlier. Have you noticed that one of the things that I had, you see, was this, I had a friend that messaged me yesterday. She's been very upset with lots of friendships, again, changing. So, of course, mm -hmm. it's part of it. Like, uh, And she, she's like, I can't, I can't quite understand what's happening. Many of the so-called live workers, they think they're live workers, but they're supporting this and that and whatever. So I got a chance to, I found myself being, you know, being this place of translating what's happening. And I was speaking of the timelines that are merging. The timelines are literally morphing together. Mm -hmm. and there's still, there's still a spectrum, yet there is this it's a wild spectrum, yet it's, it's morphing, 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 merging. So, so then all is collapsing at the same time. It's a wild place with yes. this, that's taken in timeline. And so within that. Okay, just leave it. See, feel. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to? No, it's okay. I'll, okay. Just leave it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Leave it, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I hurt you. I hurt you. Okay. <laughs> it's like sirens going off. The toilet's clogged. I mean, no. Uh... <laughs> Listen, it's all. It's that, that too is divine. That, that's I'm like, that too is divine. So <laughs> Don't flush it anymore. Just stop. Um. <laughs> <laughs> like this is the reality you know that's this the other thing it's like i know this is like you know we're we're holding this embracing, uh, the, embracing this yeah aspect. totally it's, it's <laughs> not that this is not like this is look here's we are we oh my god i was just sick of this my friend's like how are you i was like okay so let's say uh you know while uh, i'm dealing with for example, between my sons and what's happening in DC and this and that, and they're getting their matching tattoo, all of this. I'm in the middle of so much. And then, wow, well, let's see, let's talk about the timelines and the morphing and then the Christ light, da da da. I think it's all of it. It's so all inclusive. And me and my mother 
those who are... We're not in caves this lifetime. <laughs> we're, we're not far away in caves. We're yeah. in it. This is like it's modern right day. Here, right yeah. now. <laughs> history is so important part of it. Like the toilets being clogged and, and <laughs> oh my God, of part of it. You know? <laughs> because you remember when on the soul plane we agreed to all of it? I mean, literally, we agreed to all of it. <laughs> That's how you well, and I catch up with each other. I know, I know. <laughs> you know, I, I mean, I think. Uh, <sighs> well, maybe I was telling you, so I told her about this frequency. I said, so okay. the frequency is happening naturally. The individuals, just naturally, yeah. they, they tap in even deeper to this this heart flame, what's sitting in the altar of their heart. So then they start to take this step in action and embodiment to that inner revelation. As a result of it, the frequency shifts. So then the interaction with the inner, inner with the frequency, if it yep. is in a dance, then it will go forward. If it's not, then it's gonna it's gonna draw. So yeah. she's very grateful of that. So instead of personaliz personalizing, well, what happened? Da 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 da. And, but you can see there's this massive magnetic pull towards mm -hmm. so many of us. Suddenly, I feel like we've been in this dance, this cosmic ray of dance. <laughs> Finally, we're back in the movement of the dance. And then, yeah, and, and then you can see what's, what's, mm -hmm. what's being thrown out of this field. Because yes. it's so clear. Like, and that's why there's no time for BS at all it's because it's yeah so totally <laughs> well it doesn't have no place it's just it's pure heart space that's how you can stay in the center exactly and that's also disclosure is everything and that's because there's no you know when we're operating from that heart space you know the the truth is 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 there it just right is. It, it just is there's like there's no it, it yeah there's is. no covering it becomes no it becomes apparent and it will be revealed regardless. And this is also an important piece because, you know, we talk about action. Action is, of course, the physicality of things, but also the energy itself, just like you said with your friend, and this is happening, the in and out, the, the, the movement, right? And someone will show up and it's maybe for one thing or it's for a week or whatever, that is the divine dance staying in that fluidity and also again the children are seeing yes. this is about fluidity and keeping yes. your your balance and your and your center and your joy regardless of what's happening you know and and that is is that's a zero point when you're in the center of calm you know holding that calm space regardless of what's happening around you i mean talk about like 2020 being the preparation <laughs> for what you know this new reality and new paradigm that's coming in it's being it's ushering in there's no there's no way to stop it but we are seeing again the layers of distortion that have been created over over who knows how long lots lots of years i was gonna say centuries but just in our modern day you know reality since what the 50s 40s sure, sure. in in <laughs> so and for me i look at like the industrial nation we're moving we've already moved into information and intuitive we're moving back into some of the original gifts you know for this divine blueprint that we all hold which is right? so important. I mean, the, the, there's so many things you, you touched upon, Valerie, in this space. So a couple of things. We, acceptance, <laughs> you know, one of the qualities of the Sophia Price, the first one, the very first one is acceptance. I am acceptance. And that mm -hmm. means the acceptance of what, it, like, no pain ticket any other way. This is acceptance, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and that's embracing it. But what happens is when we accept we're accepting it in the its full essence of the divine presence and then yeah. it's able to come in through the holy christ itself then it's mm -hmm. able to come in through the spirit etheric mental emotional physical body to then be implemented so mm -hmm. we are we are allowing it to literally be dropped in to then drop it into gaia's 
yes crystalline diamond heart so it's anchored and it then it's not going anywhere so from this place one by one by one and one of the things that is happening within within this template is the remembrance particularly coming to, because if when you look back what has been the biggest that has to do with children what has been the biggest effort for the children to not be in their highest empowerment is mm -hmm. been to make sure fear through the through the media has been implemented to enough parents that bought the program to then mm -hmm. pull their children out of street out of playground out of the play with each other being outside like you and i did like outside hours completely yeah. safe, to then put them into all these other classrooms classrooms or like for example organized sports and whatever for the you know the marketing and the capitalism and what yeah competition that mm -hmm. that connection of children being children and then being able to be with your neighbors being able to be with parents <laughs> you know hanging out with each other yeah that's what we did you know the the, the real value of communion which is a very christ quality in the time of yeshua we ate together we hung out here there was none of this even yeshua his his he was never i'm the leader ever his yeah. was the way we share together so yeah. there's there's all of that consciousness remembrance coming out that's what there's so many of us that want to buy land have a community co community yeah. living i see it happening more, more. This, yeah absolutely. i saw it happening i think people actually took action I saw a lot more action last year mm -hmm. with on that because that's been a theme, you know, that started downloading in 2012. That's right. About living again among nature, you know, with respect. And so I really and I've seen you seen the iterations, children, right? Children yeah. Children to be. Yeah. To allow them to be instead of the program with the electronic, which is also part of their system, you know, but yeah. I, like you and I had this conversation, they <laughs> they can unplug ready. They know like my, you know, six months old knows how. Yeah, they're ready. Things, you know, <laughs> swipe left and right, you know. But, <laughs> but they came in with that, so they can also bring the new future, but in a much more harmonized way because it has to carry. Yes, both. You mm -hmm. must carry the love of the spirit. So it's a beautiful. There's such a beautiful moment when I, I still feel <laughs> the divine perfection, and I like to keep staying in that lens. <laughs> wow, this is so perfect. Yet, yet I do drop like today, like I feel the frustration, and then I get to like get back. Yeah, <laughs> I know. It's like ah, it was the screaming, roaring, you know, crying. Yeah. It was like all this energy just wanted to move and um and if <laughs> you know it, it's it's it is a lot i mean i, I <laughs> um <laughs> to, you know um but we didn't uh, sign up for less either it is a lot because we agreed to a lot sister i do feel like there is um you know, there's many more holding, which is kind of what you had mentioned about now we can move on to the next assignment, so to speak, right? So I see the group assignments. I've talked about this before, the group divine unions. Yes. I've seen this transition into the group projects like we've had to do a lot of individual work, of course, to be able to come into um, these group unions, you know, and, and someone said this before, you know, there's a lot of, of masters on the planet. There have been, uh, we've had to run through a lot of different iterations mm -hmm. to not only clean up the past, but also really get clear setting the stage for the future realities because we really haven't been here before. You know, I know that we've had pieces of of this um you know on this plane but everything that's here now and all of us that are here now <laughs> and what's happening on the planet 
um, to move us toward peace, which is really why so many of us are here to create those programs and and practices, you know, which which have come through and just, you know, um, waiting for the right frequency to, to align, not the time, but the frequency, the frequency to be able. Everything because yeah. So, so I, one of the things that I always share with my students, you can't create peace. Peace is this byproduct state mm -hmm. of presence. Yes. The alignment has come to its just presence. Mm -hmm. So the gift of the presence is peace because yeah. there's no pull, there's no tug, there's not a, it just is. And that is our ultimate nature already is all encompassing omnipresent so mm -hmm. what i find is really taking place is that let's talk about this group weaving these projects it's strengthening the fields together than now in the group uh, anchoring so for example saturday night uh, Valerie, I was in the middle of the night. I was in this dream where my um, my light code art, you know, you know, like it's in the back of the wall, all of that. <laughs> and then, and then in the dream, Lichia, that you know, my friend, mm -hmm. your heart that I've introduced you. you know? I saw your post. Yeah. You saw the whole vision come together. Well, yeah, no, 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 it wasn't a vision. I was in the dream. So then it was Susan Amara and Damien and Nalini, like. We, we were all together and I was like putting our art all pieces together and oh. I was like trying to put them all together mm. it was so it was, it was so activating the dream that it woke me up so wow. it woke me up at like two something <laughs> in the morning and I could and I kept like seeing the format of it like I kept like moving the pictures and how they how these living codes were weaving together it was really what so then I, I i made a group message i was like listen i have no idea there's so many people that have created magnificent but but i it's i'm just going by the first just send me if you like a few of your art pieces let me just mm -hmm. get I, I i'm not even a graphic artist but let me put it together yeah and then Susanna amara and i spoke for three hours she's like i see this much larger i said i know there are other ones that are going to then start to pull in yes this, this is the first initial one because it is the anchoring now after 2020 now there's like this new octave mm -hmm. and this new octave is so pure in its intent in its alignment mm -hmm. delivery of the essence and in, in a very purified field so it's so yes so it just carries such valerie and <laughs> it's the action of beauty because like once you once you experience the crystalline within that diamond frequency you know you're a living living diamond and you yes handled it with so much reverence like you cannot you cannot rough handle god's grace anymore mm. so you hold yourself the heart is held so high as a reverence so that that's where then the total death of ego is because mm -hmm. there's no place for that that mm, that fabrication doesn't have yeah. because <laughs> this now has taken over mm -hmm. to deliver the big work, which is part of this now that you said we've incarnated together. To yeah. Work together, it's the big work. The big work yes. has to be done with the little limited consciousness that doesn't have access. Like yeah. It just, it just. <laughs> right no there's no argument there's no fight around it there's yes no it just that. is you, you, so yeah beautiful. alignment it's that high alignment there's no it just moves you're moving in this living library and that you know you know because when you do grid work and yeah. it just happens a trip creates itself a project <laughs> creates itself there it just flow there is no get in the way 
Yeah, it's, it's, well, that's it, getting yourself out of the way, right? And that's what I think so many have had to go through that. Pull, pull yourself out of the way, you know, put yourself in the corner if you have to, making sure that you're not getting Give stuck. Give yourself a freaking timeout. Let this, let this, rip this. I've had to do this before, Valerie. I'm going to put you over here. Going a freaking so. time, but I do that to myself. So <laughs> no, I'm, me too. Like, okay, there. little Valerie, you know, let's, you know. You need to step aside because you're getting in the way. You know what? What is? Little Valerie. Sometimes I. Three-year-old like, Valerie. Stop. Get over there. Yeah, the inner child. You know, and so and that is that is been a lot of the work. Is what is the inner child? <laughs> Excuse me. What what is what is holding back? Because ego is just fear. Right. right? There is a death of something, and. I think also as a society, we're moving into being more comfortable with that because we right. know mul we're multidimensional beings right. and the death on this plane, is just, it's just a process and not to say, you know, it's there's not compassion it's and transformation. Welcoming yeah, it's a transformation. Exactly. Yeah. But I think people are less fearful about it. Like I am, I'm, you know, it's being with what is, what is showing up in this moment and, and without attaching to the next moment, yeah. right? And having integrated whatever has happened up into this moment. Exactly. And so that is mastery. That is really what mastery, you know, is a lot. What is, do you think them assistant masters, the ones that we're working with, what are they doing? We're like being hot potatoes, right? Being passed on from hot potatoes. Another, from <laughs> I hope potatoes. water's not filling up my bathroom. I don't right? know. <laughs> <laughs> Send it master. <laughs> Your mastery. Okay. So yeah, I take my mastery <laughs> and unplug the toilet next. Yeah, it's, you know, not, it's purification. What? Water is coming in to wash all the shit, right? No, it's it's a it's an it's a funny running joke in this in this okay. house. Always issues <laughs> with with the Listen, same here. Valerie. It's crazy. I know. It's like it's like what what are you doing? <laughs> all the work you're doing, it has to purify. Like with us, here, like, purify the. We hold so much so much here, shit. So <laughs> Because a lot of shit comes out, it has to purify. But I never forget. Listen, I have to tell you this: when we had our big house, like this, when I was married, we had this big, big house, and, and it was Nev Nevon's birthday in year 2012. So he has his birthday. He has all his friends over. We're all excited, and he's born, of course, on summer solstice. And it oh, happened gosh. to be the super moon super full moon on that day and they <laughs> collect everything that day. So what happened on his birthday, imagine all the little kids. Right, everything kids, stopped up. A kid goes to the bathroom. <laughs> this never, I mean, it made no sense. The toilet with its shit overflew so much. Overflew, overflew, overflew in the birthday party, all the kids running presents. But no, listen to me. The water wouldn't stop. Next thing we hear, our, imagine we were like in a 5,000 square foot house. It's coming. Down. No, no, no. We hear boom. The entire basement, the ceiling comes down in the basement. <laughs> Do you know, talk about shit party, right? <laughs> so I was like, thanks for you. No crap. <laughs> so I knew. The that was clearing. Take a interesting turn. I mean, literally, the birthday party to our solar birthday party of my son turned into a massive shit party. And then, and then on top of it, this is even more gross. Carl and I had to go to the, to the, I had my lab there. We had everything there. Everything had come down the ceiling. Floor. Oh, God. In the, the, into the storage. <laughs> Carl and I went in the storage to try to get something in. The pipe opened. Oh no, you don't know, sister. You don't know. <laughs> <Okay>. So, <laughs> so if you're dealing with some shit right now, yeah. whoever's watching, <laughs> just it's know it'll be okay. <laughs> no, it can be clear. Manure, right? It's a blessing. <laughs> and that, growth. It, it There's is, growth. It is. But it's to <laughs> recognize that too is part of the divine plan. I never realized, wow, 
what that was until later. So I, when I witnessed <laughs> others having floods, I was like, it's the biggest blessing. Because you know what happened? It opened the doors to everything else. Oh, interesting. It had to clear. <laughs> so it's the collective message as well. Yeah. So if you're in it, keep going. That's, <laughs> that's my closing message. If you're in it. Well, it's funny. <laughs> but this comes through. Like, we're in it. We're in it as a group. Right. So I think that's, we're collectively getting the message. I mean, literally Keep going solutions are coming, you know, and, and, and also I see that we're getting to, to great opportunities um, for honoring each other where we're at. Yes. Right. We talk about peace, but really it's a it, peace means even though I don't agree with you, I can still love you as, you know, my brother or sister. So coming well, into that, also. I don't have to interact with, exactly. <laughs> it's, it's that's okay too. Exactly. So it's, it's honoring each other's truth, Correct. right? And as long as we can be in a peaceful state of, a, of awareness or beingness, that's really it. Why can't we live with each other in this state? To me, that is peace. And that is, that inner knowing that I don't have to make you wrong, you know, just yeah. so I can stay in this space. Exactly. We can all have our own truth. Right. And, 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 and that comes, right? We, I, I, I honor you. I honor me. I honor you. And I <laughs> Thank you, honey. I way this plays out. That yeah. if, for example, within this, within this, space in which we're honoring you if our frequency cannot dance okay so we don't dance right now with exactly this yeah no it's okay let me go dance more with here because this is what exactly I'm it's okay. yeah that's it that's yeah, a bit that's, that's a big the biggest part of this <laughs> so maybe the, the music changes again then we can start to dance together again yeah mm -hmm. okay, totally know? totally with you that's a, big, that's a huge huge part. yes this now we are in, <laughs> and, and, it, and that's when the, that's when then there's no personalization, there's no projection, there's no yeah. hurt feeling, there's no, and, and and it's really, really like from love we accept. Okay, it's beautiful. It, it really, yeah. really is, and then you can feel the beauty. We feel closer. Us. Right. Feels like we're closer. It really does. Yeah. And so, so, so much love to everybody watching and to you. Thank you. I feel like we're, you know, we're in that place where, you know, we're, we're getting so many opportunities to really love each other truly and um, honor, you know, each other. That, that's kind of what's, what's coming through, right? Like you're saying, it's all divine. Whatever is happening, we get to use it, <laughs> you know, using it to, Right? You said to love each other. Yeah, whatever's showing up. I can't <laughs> say enough about this. But loving, love each other, not from the way the humans have love. Yeah. We love each other from the divine love. That's this window that has finally opened with earth. <laughs> Literally, yes, to right. Exercise <laughs> divine love, which is completely different. Because very different. Up until this point, has been literally up until the end of 2020 has been yeah. very limited in mm -hmm. its in its um capability. Literally, mm -hmm. yeah. Finally, 2021's door open. So now <laughs> is the availability, accessibility for <laughs> each of us each day to just allow <laughs> what does divine love feel like? What's the experience like to be brought in into my encounter activity? All of it. The yes, everything. Today, how how is the just the experience so that we can we can be in awe of yes. of the wow <laughs> and the awe of almighty now interacting now being in charge that's what freaking excites me you know <laughs> yay
Yeah. <laughs> and then we co-create together from this. Yes. Like right. Wow. And if, exactly. And now I feel like we can because yeah. we, we've we gone through so many, um, you know, iterations. Yeah. She's and, a party, right? She's a party. Right. Yeah, she's a party. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. With some coffee cuckoo. The cuckoo sandwich. Oh, my goodness. So, <laughs> I'm so that, that, I mean, it's a, one day go go to the what what is it? The Shirzad. Um, I'm going. Shirzad. I'm going. It's in my field. <laughs> it's in my field. The extra khiarshu. The okay. <laughs> I will ask. <laughs> I love you, sis. Listen, I'm. So I love you too. Thank you. And, and again, Thanks for I having me. Welcome everybody to. This was like one of our usual conversations when Valerie and I get together. We have our yeah, day. this is I it. Talk. And I, when, when I reach out to Valerie, I was like, <laughs> instead of like, let's just go live. Like, what yeah, you, this is it. <laughs> There's nothing planned. And well, just, thank you for having me. It was perfect timing. On and this essential. Oh, topic. thank you, honey. Do you have any final message for? <sighs> listeners that's like really from your divine heart you want to share before we close this um you know i think it is it is staying in the heart i mean it is that surrender you know when you come up against a challenge you know so it's just to to surrender into the the multiple possibilities even things you might not have considered right and and this is this is part of I think practice for the collective awakening. And so many of us have felt known that this grand awakening, right, is happening and it really is. And so I feel that um, just to stay in that super neutral or zero point, so you're able to have a fresh, right, a fresh outlook, fresh eyes on what's happening. Like you said, look at your BS. And, and make sure that you're not just running old cycles and old beliefs, but you're really in that now moment. <laughs> More sirens. <laughs> and so it is. Thank you so much, sweetie. <laughs> so much love. So much. Thank you. And we're going to both look at all the comments. If anybody, if you uh, write a question that we, obviously, because I'm not seeing it. Yeah, yeah. We we'll can both address it. Exactly. Or you can reach me on Facebook. Right. You can reach. I put already what I'm going to do. I'm also going to put all your information on this as well. So people have access. Okay. Yeah. You can be of service. We'll be in service to whoever. Yes. Feels like, oh, I love you so much. Thank you. Love for you, our honey. Together. Thank you so much. I love you. Say hi. I know. I love you too. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye.